Okay, so for my brows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow and Benefits Gimme Brow, and for the lips, we're just gonna be plumping with the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I love this stuff, it works so good. Next to prime, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer in Luminous Light. I'm just going to be buffing that all over the face with the SL Miss Glam Full Foundation W11 brush. And then we're just going to do some color correcting and cover up some darkness and hyperpigmentation on my face. I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Correcting Palette. I'm not sure if this was limited edition. If it was, I apologize, but I'm just going to go ahead and start to color correct my face. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Hourglass Vanished Stick Foundation. I'm using the shade Golden. I absolutely love this foundation. It looks so good in pictures. It looks great on the skin. It feels hydrating. It doesn't feel super like heavy or anything like that. And we're getting a little creative with it, obviously. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out with my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. I feel like it blends out a lot better when you use a brush rather than a beauty blender. Next to highlight our face and bring some areas forward, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Neutralizer. I'm just going to run it down the bridge of my nose, forehead, and anywhere on my face that I want to highlight and bring forward. And then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with my SL Miss Glam Beauty Sponge. To conceal, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the shade Y23, which is super duper bright and I love a really bright under eye area, so this is what I go for when I want that effect. So I'm just going to apply that under the eyes and blend it out with my SL Miss Glam Beauty Sponge. And to contour today, we're going to be cream contouring. I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in the shade Deep. I'm just going to be applying this around the perimeter of my face and in anywhere that I want to sink in and chisel. I'm then just going to blend that out with my e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush. And then to blend out my nose contour, I'm using the Artist Opal 3 brush. These brushes are pricey, but they work so well, so that's why I like to use this one. This one's perfect for the nose contour. Now to set everything, I'm using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I'm just going to be applying that with my Damp Beauty Sponge. I feel like it just looks a lot better when you apply it with a Damp Beauty Sponge as opposed to a brush, so that's why I'm doing that. So I'm just going to put that under the eyes and in any areas of my face that would crease usually. I like to put it under the eyes, on the center of my forehead, along the jawline, and then also on my lap lines as well. And then I'm just taking my SL Miss Glam Classic Powder Brush W01 to blend all of that out. This is my favorite brush. It's so soft and it's super cute to use, right? So I'm just going to use that to blend all of that out. Next to bronze, we're using the Tarte Cosmetics Park Ave Princess Palette. I'm taking the bronzing shade and we're just going to warm up our complexion a little bit. I'm just going around the perimeter of my face and just anywhere the sun would naturally hit. I'm using an e.l.f. I think this is an e.l.f. powder brush to apply that. And then to set our powder contour a little bit, I'm going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm just going to be applying that right underneath the cheekbones and then a little bit around the perimeter of my forehead. And then I'm just taking this bone shade from the NYX Cheek Contour Duo Palette in the shade Double Date and I'm going to be applying that down the bridge of my nose. Moving on to the eyes, we're just going to prime the eyes. I'm using my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't used this in forever. And then I'm taking my Makeup Geek Vanilla Bean Eyeshadow and just setting that base. I'm using my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush to do that. Then we're going into the Revolution Palette by Pure Cosmetics. It's a super cute little palette and it's got very just vampy, cool tone kind of shades in it with one warm tone shade, which I love. So I'm taking the warm tone shade and I'm running that through the crease and upper crease. That's going to be our transition shade for the look. And then I'm going to pack that shade on using my MAC 217 brush. I just really want to pack that shade onto the crease because I want to define it a little bit more. Next we're dipping into Flux, which is the bone shade in the palette, and I'm using that to highlight the brow bone. And then I'm taking my Too Faced Glitter Glue, and I'm going to be packing that on to the lids. I'm using my, what brush is this? It's the Bedellium Tools. Let's get the number 777 brush to apply it. Now for the fun part, the lid shade. The lid shade is always the funnest part for me. 
thumbs up the video if it's the funnest part for you too. So I'm taking the Pure Cosmetics eye polish in the shade Nighted and this is from the Pure Cosmetics Royalty Collection and I'm just going to be dabbing that all over the lids. It's a really gorgeous gunmetal gray shade and then I'm going to go in with the applicator and apply it um, over top what I just dabbed on there. I feel like this is the best way to build it up. So I'm going to go ahead and just start to apply that all over and then blend out those edges. Now to deepen up my crease and further blend out that edge, I'm going in with the shade Superior from the Pure Cosmetics Revolution palette. I was just going to say that wrong. <laughs> and I'm using the Sigma E43 Domed Blending Brush to apply that and blend that out. And then I'm also just going to take some concealer on my Sigma Angled Cream Contour F61 brush to clean up that edge. Since we're not going to be using any eyeliner today, I really wanted a clean edge and this is the best way to do it and I love this brush for it. Next, I'm just going to be taking the Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Midnight Cowboy. This is such a gorgeous color. It's perfect for the inner corner highlight, and that's what we're going to use it for. I'm going to be applying that with my Sigma E41 Duo Fiber Blend Brush, and I'm also going to be popping that onto the high points of the brow bone too, just to add some added, added highlight. I'm then going to pick up About Face on my Real Techniques shading brush, and I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line and smoke it out. I'm then picking up Superior on an angled brush and I'm going to pack that onto the outer third of the lower lash line just to define it a little bit more. Now I'm just taking a black and white eyeliner pencil to the waterline. I'm applying the black to the inner half of the waterline and then going in with the white on the outer half. This is going to make my eyes look a little bit more almond shaped. It's just a little trick that I like to do. For mascara, we're using the Benefit Their Real Mascara. It's one of my favorite mascaras right now. I especially love it on my lower lashes because they just make them look so long and wispy. For falsies, we are using our Coco Lashes in Goddess. I think these are Coco Lashes and yeah, they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot. Oh my goodness, okay. So we're just gonna be applying that with some tweezers and then pitching them together so that they blend with our natural lashes. For blush, I'm going into the NARS Unfiltered One palette and picking up the shade Chic. We're just going to be applying this directly to the apples of the cheeks and blending it upward. I'm using my Alcel Miss Glam Angled Blush P05 Brush. That rhymed. <laughs> and to highlight, we're going in with the Elevation palette by Pure. I'm picking up the shade Altitude, which is a really gorgeous cool tone shade with like a goldy undertone to it. It's really pretty on the face. Anyways, we're just going to be applying that to the high points of the cheeks. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills a23 brush to apply it. Moving on to the lips, I'm going to be lining and filling them in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Hex. I absolutely love these lip pencils. They work really well. They're very creamy. They're not drying at all. And they work really great at making your lipstick last a lot longer as well as just lining the lips in general. So love these. And then over top that for lipstick, we're using the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Disturb, which is a really hot, vampy color. I love this shade, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna be applying that all over the lips. Now to clean them up, I'm just taking some concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Butter Skin Concealer in particular, and I'm using my Sigma Precise Lip Liner L06 Brush. So this is really gonna help at cleaning that up and making sure our lips look nice and precise. To add a little bit more sparkle to our look, I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Gunmetal, and I'm just gonna be applying that into the inner corners right over top that Urban Decay shadow we put down initially. And that's it. We're just going to put on our earrings, do something with our hair, and this is going to be the final look. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we don't lose each other. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I love you guys. Bye. Whoo. That lip plumper is not playing.